Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to go through the Atlas Coffee Club subscription box and cover whether or not I think it would be worth it for you. So jumping straight in I have what we receive in a normal box here so I just have it set for the standard two bags of coffee. Now one thing to note I will be doing screen sharing in a bit to go over the website, the subscription, things of that nature so you can learn a bit more about it but we're going to cover what's included in the box. It's not a ton. So this is the box here it basically just comes in through standard shipping methods and you'll see we have two bags of coffee if we look at the coffee itself you'll see they usually have different designs you'll see where it's from so we have the atlas coffee club and you'll see it's from peru you can see more about this on the bottom and bags could potentially be different but it is your your pretty standard bag you pull that little tab and then you can open it just like i've done with this one here so going to the actual additional extras in the box. So up first, you have this little card here with your tasting notes, roast level, and a little bit of a fact there. And just additional information here on the coffee history and coffee notes. Now, only other thing to note is we get this little postcard here. Nothing special, just a postcard, which is kind of cool to have. It's nice to kind of look at and learn more about what you're drinking when you're drinking it. So that's really all that's included in the box. Let's go ahead and jump into screen sharing and see what you can learn and whether or not it's a good fit for you. Now, one thing to note, I will put this link in the description. It's a referral code, so I'll get $10 and you will also get $10 when you sign up if you're interested. All right, so we have the website pulled up. Now, since we're coming up on Black Friday, you may see different banners based on when you actually visit the website and depending on uh, the different promotions that they have going on. So you'll see we currently have this Black Friday sale. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the pricing as it may change a little bit for you, but I have my actual account pulled up here. I'll walk through some of the different elements of the account, but we we'll wanna go over the website first. So you'll see that when you're going through through this you have quite a few different pieces and really the main focus is this coffee of the month club portion here so you'll see that you have a couple of details like a postcard taste notes and then coffee match guarantee and basically we can continue to scroll through and learn more like how it's freshly roasted uh, sustainably sourced so things like that I really like to hear and you'll see you can also give it as a gift now and that's really all that there is to the website. Now, when you click get started, you can actually click start your journey and then learn more about whatever promotions they have going on. Now, what I love about this coffee program is you have the ability to choose ground, whole bean, or coffee pods. So in this case, I chose whole bean because I like to grind it myself. And then I love how many options they have for the brew method. So you can choose which one. Now, obviously, some people may want to do multiple. So you would have to kind of figure out what works best. Or you can use the I use multiple brew methods option. Now, once you do that, you would choose your roast preference. Now, some people may not like that they only have two, which is light to medium and medium to dark. I do like it, though, personally, just because I like everything from light to medium. So you would choose that option, and then you're going to choose your number of bags per shipment. Now, there is a need more option, and you can choose from there. So you can always go here, choose your different option, and again, pricing may vary. So you'll see uh, what your pricing looks like based on any promotions you may be eligible for. And then you can choose how often you'll receive it, and then you'll get the uh, overview here, and you'll see you can pause, skip, or cancel any time. So that's really all that there is to this. Now let's walk through my account and then I'll walk through whether or not I think that this is a good deal. So you'll see up first, we it says, welcome Tyler. And then you'll see your current order. You can track it once it's shipped. And you'll see you have your next order, when it'll ship, and you can change the date, which I really like. There's an option right away for need a break, skip your next shipment, and you can just click this button. Now you'll see, want more of this month's coffee. So you'll see like what you brewed and you have the ability to buy more. Although if I'm not mistaken, there is a timeline or time frame that you need to do this by before they switch to the new bag, but you're gonna wanna double check on that. As we continue to scroll through a couple of other things that I like, it's not just a subscription box where you go and just buy stuff. It's where you can actually see the different points that you're getting, journeys you've taken, like different countries you've visited. They have a rewards program. So you do have a lot of cool things that you can see there. Now, another thing, I will put this, this link in the description so that you can sign up. You'll see that uh, you and your friend both earn $10 when you sign up with this link. And then the last few things to note here, you'll see that we have a couple of options down here. So you have your coffee passport. You can view past coffees, and then you can actually rate and check in on different tasting notes. 
So we could put in, for example, five stars, and then you can learn more, and then you can put in your notes and click save. So some pretty cool stuff that you can actually do on your coffee passport. And then down here you have your shipment frequency, your coffee options. So do you want four bags, two bags, one bag, and then want more coffee? So you'll see current is Peru, order before November 27th to get more. So like I said, there may be a time frame that you have to order by. So all in all, I think that this is a really cool program. It, takes it to the next level instead of just being here's a monthly subscription box it gives you the ability to track rate your coffees and then kind of see what you've had in the past order more and I love the fact that you can just click skip if you want to skip it doesn't seem like they're trying to kind of suck you into something so I do think that that is really really cool as well they're not trying to force you into a subscription so I would love to know your thoughts but time for the final opinion from me I think that this is a great option. Now, I wouldn't use this for every bag of coffee. From what I've seen, and this could change, but from what I've seen, if you order one bag or four, you're getting four of the same bag. So if you like trying more than one type of coffee in a month, then you may just wanna do one or two bags to start and then have other bags from other places. I would have liked it if they had an option to do four bags and make, you know, two of them different from the other two or something like that. And maybe that's coming or is an option now, but I haven't seen it anywhere. So really, I guess what it boils down to, number one, is price. If you're someone who really likes uh, really just like premium coffee, who wants it freshly roasted or as fresh as possible, and you like trying new things on a monthly basis, this could be a great program it is more expensive in some cases than some coffee, but again, it would depend on is this the, the normal cost you would pay and is that frequency work for you? If not, you may wanna try one to two bags. Again, it boils down to personal preference. It's something I plan on using for a while and I'll probably supplement with coffee from local places as well. But I would love to know your thoughts. Let me know and um, really just if you have any other questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.